Okay. So we'll do uh, n equals 6. That means the nodes... 5, 5. 5, yeah, because it's n minus 1. And then the other easy thing to do is L. 5 lambda over 2. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or is, or it, is it 6? Lambda? Yeah, it's yeah, n... 6 lambda over 2. Exactly. 6 lambda over 2. Can we reduce that? Or 3, yes, please do so. So 6 over 2 is 3. Okay, so we did our calculations. Let's draw it. Now we could do psi. Draw psi of 6 of x equals the square root of 2 over L sine 6 pi x over L. Notice that there's nothing to simplify. You just write it out with the 6 there. That's always the same. 0, L, and this is the x-axis. Here's psi of x. I have five nodes. So again, the way I do it is equally distribute five dots in the box. So be one in the middle, two here, two here. If it's an odd number, there's going to be one in the middle. So I have five nodes. I just eyeball, you know, by your eyeball, just draw it the best you can. And then I always start going up. You need to always start going up through each dot, just like connect the dots in preschool. Okay, there it is. That's the waypoint. Uh, that's about all you can... Oh, we can find the nodes. Find the nodes at each point. So, here you can do it, you know, a couple, whatever you, is kind of your thing. So, if you want, you can say, oh, this, well, this one's in the middle, that has to be L over 2. Or if you're more into, oh, I'm dividing this by 6, if you prefer to track it by N. So this is 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, that'd be 1 half. 4, 6, 5, 6, 6, 6. Whatever you kind of prefer. So anyways, the way I do it is L over 2 or 3 6 this and so then this L over 2 by thirds so a third of L over 2 L over 6 uh, 2 L over 6 or L over 3 and then it's 2 thirds L and then 5 6 L or again, if you did this by 6, it's 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 4, 6, and 5, 6. Those are all the nodes. You have five nodes. Make sure you have five answers if I ask you for all the nodes. Okay, is that part okay? The other part. So all you have that's more difficult on this question as opposed to one with smaller n is you just have more nodes to solve for. The other part is psi squared, that's the probability density, uh, which means you have 2 over L, so I'm just squaring that same function, sine squared of 6 pi x over L. Again, if you graph this, you're going to get what I'm going to draw, but I'm going to do it by inspection. It's a little bit easier for us, it's, uh, you know, you probably haven't done trig very in quite a while. So it's not in the same box, oops, L on the right, and 0 on the left, x-axis. I've got to repeat my five nodes again, so by inspection, put five nodes in here, as best you can. Space them out a little bit, so this is the x-axis, and now Everything's going to be positive, because when you square it, it becomes positive, so it's always going to go upwards. So, as best you can, go down, whenever you hit a dot, go back up. Or whenever you hit a node, you go back up, until you get to the end of the box. And there's the psi squared, meaning where it hits zero, there's zero probability of finding an electron. Where it hits its maxima, that's the m highest probability. Something like this, this point, you'll just you'll find an electron, but it's not the highest, it's not the lowest. Just in the middle somewhere. 
So now I could, you already know where the nodes are. That's L over 6. I'll just rewrite them. L over 3, L over 2, 2 L over 3, 5 L over 6. So we already got those points, but you may want to find those maxima if you're asked. So it just gets slightly more painful because you need to deal with fractions. So half of L over 6, this is L over 12 where it hits the axis. Uh, oh my goodness. 3L over 12. Uh, yeah, very good. 3L over 12, which is L over 4. Yeah, basically it's L over 12, 2L over 12, 3L, 4, 5L over 12, which is this point down there. Uh, 7L over 12, which is this point down here. I guess this is 3 fourths or 9L over 12. And 11L over 12, which is that point right there. So those are all the maxima. The points where it's the highest probability of electron. And they're all equally probable since they're equally high. Okay. That help? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah? Will we ever be required to actually calculate it? To actually calculate it like using, using this? Yeah. Uh, no, it's your option if okay. you want. If I asked you to figure something out, so find one of the nodes, you either have to draw all this stuff up, or if you're good with trig, you can take a shortcut, you know, set the sine function equal to zero, and solve from there. That's another way you can do it. Right. But uh, I wouldn't require one way or the other. It's your choice. I'd say most people just draw it. 